Hi guys, so today I wanted to do a story time video. I wanted to do these videos for such a long time, but I've never really gone to it. It's not like I have this crazy wild life that I have like a ton of stories from, but I did want to share some um, of my past with you or some of my stories with you. So if you are interested in getting to know how my crazy big party got busted by the cops, uh, keep on watching. So let's rewind to five years ago. This was Halloween and me and my friends had always hosted Halloween parties at like each other's houses and invited all of our friends. 2011 is when uh, my class kind of divides and goes into different schools like junior college or uh, whatever you want to call it. So at that time I was 15. I was getting to know a lot of new people and so were my friends and we decided okay let's throw this Halloween party like we always did but let's invite some new friends. Everyone uh, invites their class and obviously it was, it was gonna be a lot bigger than what we were used to and we were throwing it at my house or my parents house <clears throat> which is a pretty spacious house so we thought you know it wouldn't be such a big problem like a lot of people can fit in there I'll try to insert some photos of like old Halloween parties or something uh, it's, it's just fun and cute and I have like one photo from this exact party so again a little backstory when it was leading up to this party um, a lot of people were getting invited and then a lot of people were like contacting me asking like can I come and I was like denying people access i was like no there are too many people you know coming it was not like a facebook event or anything it was just kind of you know thrown around at our school and such and it obviously traveled to other schools as well so i was already uh, denying people access like you know the week before or something which was pretty insane i've never um, heard of anyone having to deal with that but people were like can I please come and th these were like people I didn't even know and I was like no so the night of the party it started out just fine just like any basic party a lot of people showed up people were um, drinking uh, underage drinking obviously I'm not recommending it to anyone but that's kind of what happens in these junior colleges here in Iceland people are drinking at 15 uh, and even younger so and then it got a little out of hand, a lot of people had entered my house and it was almost like way too many people were in the house and that's when I thought like, okay, we need to do something, like this is too much, we can't even walk, it was just like people all over, like in the bathroom, everywhere. Uh, my friends and my boyfriend's friends, me and my boyfriend had like just started dating there, we had only been together for like a month or something and um, he had all of his friends there and uh, a few like girlfriends, you know, friends that are girls <laughs> and they were all like super helpful and asked me like, do you want us to help you throw some people out, blah 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 and I was like, yes, please. So they went around to ask people if they knew me, like, you know, who are you, like, why are you here, stuff like that and I remember one of my boyfriend's friends, who is now my friend, um, came up to me and was like, yeah, are those your best friends sitting on the sofa over there? And I looked at them and I had no clue who these girls were. And obviously everyone was just telling them like, yeah, we're Emma's best friends and yada yada yada, just so they could stay. We ended up having my boyfriend's friends who were like big and hunky guys. <laughs> be like the bouncers, like throwing people out, denying people access, like literally standing in the door and asking me like, can this guy come in? And I was like, no, can this guy come in? Yeah, sure, stuff like that. And we were pretty much denying everyone access at that point. So this guy who had asked me like weeks before if he could come and he was like, I promise I'll wear a costume because that's like, it was a Halloween party so people were supposed to wear costumes. And he was like really begging me for his, for my permission to come and I just sat flat out now like I don't know you that well I don't want you at my party because it's just already um, too big and he actually showed up and I remember coming to the door and like confronting him being like I told you not to come of course people crash parties all the time but when you have asked the host if you can come and you get a no that's that's weird so um you know he kind of know like I was not letting him in 
at this point a lot of shit had went down there was this stairway in my living room that didn't really go up to anywhere there used to be like a attic there but we took it out so there was just the stair it had the stereo type of thing it had a bunch of like statues books a bunch of valuable items that you know obviously i should have packed away but i didn't my parents knew about this party i was not like sneaking around hosting this party my parents were in town they just went out for the night and allowed me to host this party obviously not thinking it was gonna get this big but anyways the stair was there leaning against just like with this wooden bay or something um someone obviously like leaned on it something weird and it fell down and people were like catching things and people were like dragging me in every direction they were telling me uh some things were breaking in the bathroom like some uh, little glass jars and stuff that holds like q-tips and stuff that was all broken in the bathroom people told me people are smoking in the bathroom weed people are doing drugs in your bathroom people are smoking weed in your backyard and at that point it was all so overwhelming that i couldn't really do anything like i could not deal with anything i was just like running around people like pulling me in every direction like this is happening over there this is happening over there uh, these people are trying to get in and it was just nuts one of the funniest but still like most disgusting things was that we have a pool in our backyard and someone's just throwing up in it like there was no water in it or anything like maybe some rain or something but it was drained and someone was throwing up in it and i remember just like i cannot even deal with this sorry my phone is going off uh, I think that's around the time that the cops came, like when all of this had happened. The cops came, people heard the sirens or something coming in the street. It's a really quiet street, so <clears throat> I don't blame my neighbors for calling the cops. A lot of old people <laughs> probably like, what the heck is going on? Because it was so packed and since we were like throwing kids out the front yard and basically the whole street was packed with kids. So the cops came and um, that wasn't like a huge deal to me. I guess I was kind of expecting it at this time, but it was so funny seeing like people bolting out of the house, using every entrance, uh, running out. So the street was literally packed with kids now, like all 15, 16 year olds. And uh, they just, you know, asked to live there. And I went up to them and was like, yeah, this is my house. My parents are coming home tonight. Uh, just went a little out of hand, but nothing has happened or you know something like that and they obviously Put my name on the record and my parents name and you know This is something that my parents had to deal with for quite some time like getting um, Mail about this and like, you know making sure that I'm not like this crazy wild teenager but The cops were <laughs> that big of a deal to me like that was just kind of a relief because then the people went out but a lot of nice people stayed stayed with me which was i was really grateful for because the house was obviously a mess so they helped me uh take the cans or basically they did it i was so in such a shock and like so overwhelmed i could not do anything and i realized i'm talking a lot with my hands but anyways i was in such a shock that i couldn't really do anything Um, really blessed to have friends who actually helped me out uh, cleaning up the house and such and that's when my parents got home like I don't know what time it was maybe 1 a.m. or something it wasn't like that late and they weren't that mad they just you know realized what was going on and I just told them it got out of hand a lot of people showed up that I had no idea who was and obviously this party rumor just spread around like at least like 10 different schools like there were people from everywhere here in my house people that i don't know and people that i like i see now like out and about and i'm like thinking you've actually been in my house and i don't know you one bit so that's a weird thought one of the funniest things i remember is that um a few people stayed late with me like they stayed up uh cleaning and a few people were just like waiting for their rides or waiting for taxi cabs or something like that these two kids that i don't really know like i sort of know them today but i not really they went into my like tv room like a family room that was closed like my parents bedroom and the 
family room and everything was closed and people were not allowed to go in there obviously and they were like making out on the sofa and my mom walked in on them like throwing people out or like you know checking what's going on and they said to my mom like no it's okay we're siblings and I remember my mom coming back to me and she was like what is going on that was weird that was one of the weirdest moments like I remember from this night the main reason why this um, party was so memorable well obviously it was like huge I cannot even comprehend how many people were in my lot like I would easily think like a few hundred I don't know I'm not really good at realizing how many people were there but like I would probably say like a thousand people but that's not probably right anyways the next day there was a story on the news that this out of control party in the same neighborhood as mine had just been like crazy a guy was attacked by a knife and like had to you know they called an ambulance and everything obviously and that there was a girl hosting it and she called her brothers i have two older brothers that i would like i don't know why i didn't call them at this point in time this girl who i don't know who is called her brothers and they came out to help and everything just matched up to my story like everyone thought who had been to this party everyone who thought that a guy had been attacked with a knife in my home which uh, was not true like i even thought it i was like did i just miss something like did something happen in this part of um, the house that i just missed like it it could have easily been that way but it was not it was another party thank god like even my parents friends were like calling them days or weeks after it and were like was there an attack in your home and everyone just thought it was me so i'm happy that it didn't turn out that crazy but it was funny and like weeks after this party people were still talking about it even now years later people still talk about it it was like a project x party if you've seen that movie it was just insane especially since i live in a pretty small neighborhood or my parents house like people don't throw these kind of big parties here in Iceland especially when you're like 15 <laughs> you know a lot of fun obviously I learned from it I've not hosted such a big party not even like close to it after that I like made a promise to me and my parents that that was not gonna happen again so that was my crazy big party story that got busted by the cops thankfully it did not go as bad as it could have been but it was a mess and it obviously makes you really uncomfortable knowing that people are doing some illegal stuff in your home obviously these were kids underage drinking so that's also illegal but like people are doing drugs and smoking weed and all of that that's not cool i do not stand for that at all i am like such an anti-drug person just so you know that that was my story i really hope that you enjoyed it make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more crazy stories i have a few more that i can think of and and kind of get the ball rolling i really hope that you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe to see more videos from me and be the first one notified and i'll talk to you in my next video bye